my point is regardless of how it's presented to you they're the same picture painted by two different artists and what the hell kind of paint you looking at what it do youtube i'm ricky and i'm ricardo and we are not twins that is me and today we are going to discuss pokemon and dog fighting now the pokemon franchise is the second most successful video game franchise in the world only surpassed by the mario franchise and it is the highest grossing media franchise of all time beating out titans like star wars the marvel universe uh dragon ball needless to say between its video games trading card game movies merchandise and comics it's a very popular brand among adults and children alike now as a disclaimer i'm not some politician that saw 30 seconds of grand theft auto and i'm now an advocate for its demise i played the original pokemon when it was released in uh in the states um, I went to the original theatrical release of the cartoon of the anime and my son and I play the card game almost daily So I'm pretty familiar with the franchise and I have absolutely no ill will towards it other me I'm gonna give you a concept you ready go You find this animal you capture it you keep it in a cage you train it and then when you think it's ready You take that animal to a place that meet up with other people who've trained their animals and then you make your animal fight their animal until one of them is knocked out or at the very worst killed. Now, did I just give you the concept of Pokemon or dog fighting? Okay, first of all, the ESRB rating for Pokemon games clearly state my comic mischief and mild cartoon violence. While the two may be one and the same in its core concept, Pokemon is fictional. Two, dogs are domesticated. Three, even with the most powerful attacks, Pokemon game mechanics don't allow Pokemon to be killed. They're only knocked out. And four, dogs don't evolve. A Shih Tzu is not going to turn into a Rottweiler if it trains hard enough. You can't make one and you can't make them make them the same. But what it sounds to me like you're saying is that somewhere down the line, some kid as an adult is going to get busted for dog fighting and reveal that he learned how to do it by playing decades of Pokemon. Is that what you're saying? I'm not ruling that out. And that's ridiculous. Jack Thompson aside, remember Devin Moore, the kid that shot three cops in Alabama and blamed Grand Theft Auto in open court? Okay. Michael Carneal killed three kids at school. Parents of the kill, led by none other than Jack Thompson, tried to slew, uh, sue a slew of media outlets, um, including video game companies. I think you made your point. No, I don't think I have. While I think that uh, Leland Yee may have been on to something when he said, quote, this is about their lust for violence and the industry's lust for money. This is about their self-interest, end quote. Extremely violent uh, video games have become the norm and kitty games have become the minority. However, using or rather blaming video games in a court setting has never worked and probably never will. Okay, this whole video game defense thing and blaming games and movies for the crimes you commit should have been put to bed a long time ago and getting into it now goes well beyond the scope of this video. Okay, so this is about Pokemon. Yes, you capture animals. Yes, you train them. Yes, you pit them against other animals, and yes, there are injuries, but that's where the similarities end. Uh, it is very similar to dog fighting, but they're not one and the same, and Pokemon is not a gateway to the future dog fighters of America. That's like saying an ATV and a car are the same because both have four tires and an engine. Okay, and if you're gonna make such broad similarities, let's look at one of the uh, let's look at the franchise that's more successful than Pokemon, Super Mario. I mean, if we're talking cruelty to animals, look at what he's doing to Yoshi. He cracks the thing out of his own egg, hops on his back, and forces it to eat other animals. You don't see people complaining about that, you know? One, I didn't intend on making this a debate about court defenses. Two, Yoshi is a bad example because Yoshi eating things is not the premise no, of the majority example. of the games he's been in. In Pokemon, fighting animals is the premise. Like dog fighting, you remove the actual fighting and you have nothing left but animals living the way nature intended. My point is, regardless of how it's presented to you, they're the same picture painted by two different artists. And what the hell kind of paint you looking at? One is a weird, dopey cartoon slash video game. The other one is an uh, inhumane underground blood sport. One is seemingly harmless. The other one is a felony in all 50 states. One, death is extremely rare. The other one, but death you do is inevitable. agree that both have humans forcing animals to fight each other, right? Okay, I feel like we're going in circles here. In concept, yes. Okay, but it's still not fair to make them the same thing. I mean, anybody can take something seemingly cute, childish, and harmless, 
and pervert it into something evil if they find enough variables to compare. Uh, look at that, uh, what's the name of that cartoon where the kids are fighting crime at night? Uh, uh, PJ Masks, okay? Here you got some kids sneaking out the house at night in their pajamas that give them superpowers for fighting crime. And by fighting crime, they're actually fighting other kids. Is that promote sneaking out the house? Is that promoting violence begets violence? Is that promoting that uh, not getting healthy sleep at night? You can't make the comparison between the two. You just can't, okay? To make the two one and the same is a brash attempt at removing personal responsibility from both. What say you, YouTube? Are they close enough together to make a good argument? Or are they too far apart to even matter? Be sure you put your um, opinions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. Share, 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 subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can get all the updates as they happen. And I've challenged myself. Have you? Over and out.